Have you ever wondered what goes on in other areas of the site? Have you ever wondered why SRS matters? SRNS Now is beginning a new series dedicated to the Savannah River site's existing and emerging missions, hosted by EM Senior Vice President Paul Hunt. I was recently talking to a group of new managers and asked that question, why does SRS matter? And actually I got a bunch of blank stares. And I thought to myself, how difficult it must be to come to work every day if you don't know why the work that you do really matters. I think if we had asked that question 30 years ago, I think everybody would have said, well, we're helping to win the Cold War. And then we clearly moved into a phase of cleanup. And for many years there, we did that very well. Our area cleanup team has cleaned up a significant portion of the site. The Recovery Act actually gave us a step change in that, and we've delivered well. But now what? And why does SRS matter today? It's a question that has been frequently asked. In the past, we had solid goals and realized stellar achievements. Everyone was on the same page, working toward a well-defined common goal. Recent years brought changing missions, along with a broadened scope. It is no surprise our sense of mission is less well-defined. Any discussion of our missions would naturally start with the National Lab. Savannah River National Lab is the environmental management part of the Department of Energy's only national lab, and it's really the driving engine, the technical know-how for so much of what gets done on the site. And we're very fortunate to have that elite of scientists that are delivering results for us to produce the missions that we do every day. Some of the other sites around the complex struggle to deliver their mission. They don't have that kind of a resource like we do, and today, because of that, the National Lab's expanding its influence and going well beyond the site and doing missions that touch around the country. Such resources as SRNL continue to play a crucial role in how we serve our nation. The know-how is vast and still evolving, allowing us to sustain current missions while at the same time cultivate new ones. Another vital mission we do is the defense programs and our tritium mission. Our folks and our team out in the tritium facilities have been delivering quality product for over 50 straight years. And it's a vital piece of why SRS matters. It's a mission that will go forward for many, many years to come. The Savannah River site tritium capabilities are the only capability the country has to manage tritium reservoirs. As a result, we'll have tritium facilities at the Savannah River site as long as we have a nuclear deterrent. Another role that is unfolding and critical to future missions is the handling of nuclear materials and the various disposition paths. Now let's start with K-Area. K-Area is a Cat 1 secure facility. It's one of the few secure facilities the department still has today. And we're actually expanding the capability and the capacity of K-Area to store plutonium. The excess plutonium from the nuclear weapons programs will be coming to K, and from K, we'll be going through several of the disposition paths that we'll touch on, on months, in the months to come. L Basin is one of the few spent fuel basins left to the department. In fact, there's only two left, and the, and the other basin in Idaho is soon to be closed. That basin is a critical uh, a need for the country because the research reactor fuel that's coming both domestically and foreign has to come somewhere and it's coming to the Savannah River site and we're safely storing that in L Basin. From L Basin, that fuel is going to H Canyon where we're processing fuel, uh, taking the high enriched uranium out of the fuel, down blending it to low enriched uranium and today that low enriched uranium is going to commercial reactors. Uh, we processed enough high enriched uranium power the state of South Carolina for 10 years and we've got a lot more of that work to go do. Our H Canyon facilities are really a national asset. It's the last full-scale radiochemical processing capability that the country has. And so these nuclear materials that are coming into K area and L area, the disposition path for most of them is going to run through H area. And so we have the, the people and the assets and the facility to process nuclear materials and prepare them for final disposition paths. Clearly one of the disposition paths is liquid waste and the site is fortunate to have a liquid waste program that is processing liquid waste to its final form, glass or salt stone, which is processing waste to a grout. And that process works. GTRI stands for Global Threat Reduction Initiative 
and it entails the handling and storage of excess materials from the DOE complex, but also gives us the ability to safely and securely store excess nuclear material from around the world. The President's administration has made it a defined goal to secure nuclear materials from around the country and put them in a safe place. That safe place, many times, is going to be right here at Savannah River, where we have the capabilities of, to deal with them. So the next time you are out and about on SRS, consider this. The Savannah River site offers unique capabilities and assets unmatched anywhere in the world. When paired with the professionals at the Savannah River site, we have the ability to process nuclear materials to a final disposition. And that is why the Savannah River site makes the world safer. And that is why Savannah River site matters. Mm -hmm.